Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are talking about Load Runner tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be talking about some of the important options in the VU Gen, which is Solution Explorer and Step Navigator. In order to understand them, let me just give you a quick overview that what exactly Solution Explorer is, which will show you that what exactly your entire solution, which is the VU Gen, is consisting of when you include your script, you talk about the data, you talk about the settings, you talk about the logs and putting it all together that what exactly your overall solution consists of. So if any time you want to know about what your script is actually doing and what kind of interaction it has, you reach out to the Solution Explorer tab and gets all the information. Whereas the Step Navigator will help you to determine that what kind of functions are being used and quickly help you to jump to the right step at any point of time. So you just have to reach out to the Step Navigator, click on the function name and it will automatically navigate you to the right function in the action which is using that. So let's look at the same thing in more details practically in a short file. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding what is Solution Explorer and what is Step Navigator in VU Gen. In order to get started, all you can do is just pick up any particular test which you might be having in your recent access or you can just quickly record a script in order to understand more about the Solution Explorer and Step Navigator. The most important thing is of course you should have a script with you. Without that, you will not be able to actually understand that what exactly is the use of Solution Explorer and Step Navigator. So let's get started with the Solution Explorer first and both the tabs are available on the left side if in case you lose out them by mistakenly closing this option then you can always go them from the view button again. So you have got Solution Explorer here and Step Navigator here. So none of the windows are basically uh, you know available just for one time. It's just that when you click on close here you don't delete them you just hide them. Even, even, even unpin this from the task so that you can have a great view of the entire action and you can just hover on this in order to see the details of the Step Navigator and Solution Explorer. So let's pin this thing so that we can talk about it and expand a little more. So right now what we have here with us is of course the Solution Explorer which basically gives you the title of the script first of all, that the script what it is named as. At any point of time if you wish to save it as a custom name you can always do that and this is the default name that is the protocol followed by the test number. And then we have got the list of actions. So you know about actions already. So we have see, we can see here that what number of actions are included because on the right, if you see, I can close any actions and I've, I can wonder at any point of time that what are the different actions which is this script is using. So the other actions are actually hidden. I just have to double click on this to show it up. Double click on this to show it up. So you just have to double click on this and get the action. Now. Just be sure that the actions cannot be hidden here on the left side. So you will see all the actions which are associated with this particular script in VueGen. The second thing is of course the global stat edge which is the header file as we use C language here. So of course it should consist of a header file and which is here and you can definitely find them in the solution explorer as well. Plus you do find the runtime settings which are basically to manage all the runtime settings related to the uh, overall script which you are using right now. So runtime settings includes a lot of things if you just double click on that it will also open as one of the tab in your script and has run logic, pacing, log, think time and a lot of other things which might be really important at any point of time. So being aware of all the runtime settings will generally help you to determine the best execution of the test. We'll be talking about the runtime settings coming up next in our tutorials so stay tuned for that. Parameters is for the parameters which you want to pass during the data driven testing and we'll be soon looking into the data driven approach of the VU Gen as well. And here you can find the details of the parameters if you double click on this right now we do not have any parameters it's empty. So next time when we create a data driven test we'll create a new parameter and make use of that as a part of our script. Similarly we do have a recording report which you can see at any point of time that if there was any kind of interaction or any kind of issues which you could have raised during the uh, recording of the script and you can always found uh, any kind of correlation issues which were related to your script. Uh, and what is correlation? We'll be talking about them as well. So it will be coming up later in our tutorial series.
and of course the replay run results which will show up after you have executed your script at least for one time and you can see all the details about the same and more details about it in the output tab. So that's about your solution explorer and has all the necessary information associated with a particular script which you are currently working on. The step navigator is another option which basically helps you to identify that what are the functions which are written in your script. Now sometimes your script might be so lengthy that it may take a lot of time in order to scroll down and be there in order to check whether you know where is your script. So if you just keep scrolling it will be difficult. So right now we have a very simple script with us and sometimes it's so lengthy that it becomes challenging to keep scrolling up and down. Now that's where Step Navigator will help you. Step Navigator will just compile everything from the scripts from different actions and list it on the left side. So you can also see here that each function starting line number is provided to you here. Plus they have given you the name of the function, the step what is being performed on and the script item that is in which action it is. For example, if I want to go to web URL which is the index.htm for login function, it is in views or in it. Now for that I need to first open viewser in it and come to this particular action here that is index.htm. So if I navigate from action I get to this writes function or if I want to do it other way around which is mainly the step navigator is for for example LRN transaction where is it? So I just double click on this and it highlights me here if you see that yeah there was a click here there's a highlight here saying that yeah this is where it is. So in case I am missing some of the important information and quickly want to reach there in my script, then I can make use of Step Navigator. And that's the name, Step Navigator. It navigates you to that particular step where you want to be. Similarly, if I want to check on this LR Think Time uh, in Views or End, I just have to double click on this and I'm here. So there is a LR Think Time of 4 seconds to do that job. Similarly, Web URL, Index.htm, Transition.fly, or any of these functions you can just double click on this and you can reach out to that. So Step Navigator will generally help you at any point of time to quickly jump to the right place in your script where you want to be. All you need to do is navigate to the Step Navigator, click on, double click on that particular function which you want to open and just get there. So that was so simple to understand about the Solution Explorer and Step Navigator. We'll be learning into more complex settings coming up next in our tutorial series. Till then, if you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.